take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Are you well? It's wonderful. Hi. How are you? It's the beginning of another vlog. And I'm about to go upstairs to go do my makeup. In the next 10, 15 minutes. It is Friday. It is, um... It's Friday. It is... Five days later from the last vlog that you saw i uploaded this vlog today apologies that every single time you're going to see bits of my bra sticking out or my vest sticking out i'm forever in black underwear i 90 percent of my underwear is black and uh, i'm sitting in the house okay so i i wear stuff that's just you yeah, know um but i'm about to leave right now now nah, around six it's actually half past four right now. Around six, I'm going to be spending the weekend with my partner. So, I'm, I'm going to leave. And after the week that I've had, I want to go somewhere that it's not my house. Huh? Can you imagine? Going somewhere, you're going to your lover's house. And we're like, hey, and you smell like a bit of mango in your teeth. So, yeah, man, yuck, man. Now I need to floss before I leave. It's fine. Oh, but it's wonderful. These are from Woolies. Here's the other bit of it, which I have to wrap up and then put away because I'm, I don't eat mangoes far too sweet. I don't eat the whole thing. It's not. It's not who I am. So anyway, updates since the last time I recorded the vlog. Um, nothing. Just been going to work. Had a really busy work week. Um. Today's Friday, like I said, I think it's like 20 to 5 now, something like that. Um, in that time, I mm, Yavaya. Yeah, understand? It's going down. It's going. Uh, so in that time, I got my nails done because the other color was lighter. You can go back to my other vlogs to check. <laughs> the other color was lighter, but I got a darker color now which is lovely and i think my nail tech i think upel upel played me because normally my length is a four if you get your nails done at timmy taylor you know what i mean when i say four right so my length is normally a four and i'm pretty sure pretty sure that this is a five i don't know how she expects me to wash my dishes how she expects me to I, but guys, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me show you something. Not even let me tell you something. Let me show you. Let me. <laughs> let me show you something. Lena, it's Friday today, ne? From last week's Sunday, I've been craving this thing. <laughs> hey, I've been craving Savannah, ne? And I remember saying it to Palisa that yo, I don't know why. I kept on tasting it on my lips, and, and I was just like, or break. Like if break, man. Like like, Lord, show me a sign from Pregos because I never ever crave ciders. Okay, I drink gin. I drink whiskey. I don't, I don't crave these here things. So anyway, the craving hit again that Sunday, and then it hit again somewhere Tuesday, or whatever, and then it hit again yesterday, this day. Now when it hit, it was, what, quarter past six, it was sometime after six, and it was tricky. And one of my neighbors, him and I are pretty cool, we're pretty cool, like we WhatsApp each other and stuff, we're pretty cool. I was just like, hey baba. I take I WhatsApp him. I'm like, any chance you've got Savannah there? Because yo, I am struggling. 
and I got lucky because now I was sure it's the savannah. I thought Uguti. I thought Uguti. I am craving because maybe get break, you know. No, turns out I'm not. Valerie then came this morning, so I'm not pregnant. I probably was just PMSing the whole time, chat, okay? So, Valerie came this morning, which is a bummer. Who wants to be Valerizering when they're going, going to be spending the weekend with their persons? Like, whatever. But we're grown up, so whatever. Um, so, Valzy came here, and I guess it'd be like that sometimes. But I'm gonna doll up my face a little bit because my partner has a very, very snack sanyana tendency. <laughs> He's just snacks that guy. And I'll explain to you why when I get upstairs. Gents! <laughs> I think I found my forever water bottle, okay? I think I found, I found, I think I found my forever water bottle, okay? Now, here's the thing. I drink water uh, from my one liter water bottle. And I've always felt like, sometimes I feel like it's small. Like, I, I just need a little bit more because I find myself having to refill it every fucking, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, right? And now here's the thing. I don't mind that, but I've always wanted to have something a little bit bigger. But I didn't want those USN ones, those 5 liter ones, those square shaped looking funny ones, no. So I found this one from a brand called Snappy. Hmm? Hmm? Hey Snappy girl. Mm, mm, mm. What I loved about this one is that it's got markers. You know? You know? When you get started at the top it says get started. Next is drink more. Next is don't stop. Next is almost there. Next is you get it. And then 1.5. I'm in chair. So before I go and get my makeup done, I wanted to show some of you because I always, I, not always, but a lot of the time I get asked how I style my hair. Now, I typically don't, I don't even call it styling, okay? My hair is slightly wet now. I just wet it a little bit because this is how I do the styling of my hair. Now I'm trying to find a little prop that I can place, but you guys are just going to have to deal with here the setup. Ne? Now, Shiri, I use just these two products. Ne? This is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I love to use it when it, my hair is a little bit slightly wet and the eco styling gel those are the only two products that i use truly truly so my hair is slightly wet so now i just grab some out of the container out of the bottle plastic bottle put some on my hands like so and then rub it in like so i want to use again yeah this thing I want my hair is going to be white for a while and that's fine because once it dries, it's going to dry okay. So I do that, probably dip in there maybe twice to get a little bit more on. And I just rub it on, guys. Really, that's that. It, this is honestly how easy it is. I just rub it on like so. And then at the end, I'm rubbing it in, right? Rubbing it in like so. Do you see how white it is? Good. And then at the end, I just, I want lightly. Now I'm not going in too much because it is a curling cream. So it kind of just curls everything. I do not comb my hair. The only time I comb my hair is when I am in the shower. And I'm trying to, and the hair is wet and I'm wetting it and washing it with shampoo and conditioner and all of that. But the other times I literally just do this and... After that, just find a way to curl it like so, with my hands like so. Make sure there are no strays, flyaways, that kind of thing. And then here's the magic potion that makes you guys think that, hey, I must have done something crazy to my hair and I haven't. Ne? 
here's the magic here I take a little bit of the eco styling gel is it eco yes put some on the back of my hand like so and then literally just by my hairline I just rub it in like so just a little bit it's gonna dry but when it dries, it shows like, you know, those little baby hairs on the side that just do that. The following morning, I just wash it out. When I wash my hair and all that nonsense, I wash it out. That's all I do. And I do it in the front. So right now it's a little bit wet, as you can see. But you'll see. Once I'm done, once it dries, oh, it's going to be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. You have too much faith. You got too much faith in that boy, Sha. Yeah. So, as I said earlier on downstairs, that I am going to Chaka Gilova Gasha. I'm going to go visit. Where's my foundation? Where is it? Oh, there you go. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I feel like it's. It went from being my everyday foundation, then I started trying out and playing around with a lot of foundations. Now it's back to being my everyday foundation. It's like a real OG, this one. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, what you gonna do? Okay. Um, so, as I was saying, am I gonna put on eyeshadow? No, I'm not. Uh, so, as I was saying, that one that I'm going to has got a very, very bad habit of um when i get there i normally get there in the afternoons right today i'm actually fairly late because normally i'll get there around past five whatever but i'm pretty sure today i'm gonna get there around seven knowing me <laughs> don't take my time chair um and so when i get there i always get there and say so what are we gonna eat and then it's like oh let's let's go grab something real quick and then grabbing something real quick ends up being us sitting somewhere and i'm just like ah bruh but i don't have a face on i don't look cute and now you want us to sit at this nice place and all of that it's, it's just really disrespectful it's really disrespectful one thing men will do is disrespect you so now i caught on to that uh sometime last year and i said oh, okay now when i go there i'm gonna go there with a face on because one, it's just nice, you know, to go visit your person with a bit of a face on, but also it's a protective thing, you know? You're saving yourself from feeling some type of way if somebody says, okay, let's step out and, 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 and go uh, get something to eat. Meanwhile, you're thinking it's a takeaway and you're going to sit down and eat. It's a disrespect. It's a disrespect. So I'm not going to put on any eyeshadow today, but I will put on some... Uh, what's this? Lashes. Because I also, I'm actually starting to like the whole look of um, lashes uh, when, without eyeshadow on. I think it's just, it's really cute. It's a vibe. It's really cute. So, I'm going there prepared, gents. Because, one thing you must never do, don't trust them. They're very disrespectful, those ones. Don't trust them. So, last week, uh, last Sunday, he came over and we went out for dinner and when we were there there were these two girls yeah one they were sitting at the table next to us and one of them according to him one of them was staring at me quite a bit lo and behold two three days later my sister gets a dm and the girl says hey how are you blah 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 um i saw your sister at such and such a place over the weekend and i'm just like oh my god so i forward this message my sister sends it to me and then i forward it to my partner who then says you see i told you that at that table with those two girls um one of them was staring quite a bit and i was just like why didn't she suck? come say hi and that's the thing guys ne? if you're south african you're in Joburg, or you see me in pretoria and you're pretorian or you're a joe beggar and you see me and you think to, to yourself, I want to go up and say hi, but it seems like she's with a gent or whatever. Please do, man. Hi, man, guys. Don't be those people. 
don't just come up to me when I'm looking, you know, crusty and I'm at the mall and I'm wearing my old tracksuit pants and this and this. Just going to the mall to go pick up something. No, man, please, man. Please do come up. Have you subs uh, subscribed? <laughs> Have you subscribed? Nah. You? Um, so please do, man, because he's kind of accepted it is what it is, you know. Sometimes, I think, has it happened once or twice where we were together and some girls came up and they were like, Oh, hi, cat, you know, we follow you, we watch you and all that stuff. And I, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, you know, but there's been countless times where uh, I got DMs after a weekend when maybe I was out with him and all of that. And I get a DM the following after about a day or two from a girl who says, Hey, I saw you over the weekend, but you were with such and such a person. You were with, you were with a guy and I really didn't want to come up and whatever. Hey, come up. One thing you must never do is rape men. Don't rate those things. <laughs> the book that I'm currently reading, and I'm so excited that I stopped reading this book when I initially first started reading it. For some reason, I couldn't get past page 25. <laughs> and 25 sticks out because honestly, it's the truth. I couldn't get past um, page 25, so I stopped reading it. But now, I started reading it, um, and I started from the beginning. So I started reading it about a few days ago, maybe like um, uh, three days ago, three, four days ago. I started reading it again and I read it that one time and then I read it again this morning. And then I read it again this morning and I am about at this stage. Oh, I am about 105 pages in. And this is the book that I'm reading. <laughs> oh, nay. I'm just picking really good books. This is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I've got Circe, and I think she wrote Circe after The Song of Achilles. And this book is written like poetry. It just flows. It just flows. It's written so nice. Oh, I'm not and I can already tell unless something else happens that drops the rating but I can already tell I'm pretty much gonna rate this one a five out of five um, so it, it follows the story of Achilles basically but um, from the lens of Patroclus Patroclus is Achilles's companion um, from when they were children to growing up into adulthood uh, companion slash friend lover and all of that um and yeah they're lovers and it just follows the relationship that they have together from when Patroclus was younger uh and um was exiled away from his uh kingdom you know where his father was the king and he was exiled into Achilles's father's kingdom so they became friends from when they were 11 or something like that um, to now currently they are 16 and uh, they done did some things <laughs> uh, but the romance between them is just it's so palpable you can taste it you can touch it you can feel it it is beautiful it is written so so well oh Luna oh let me do this finish up and then I'll touch base with you guys before I leave okay 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 so I am done simple easy look with a bit of gloss uh, lashes are on sister looks so right. uh, the hair is done you see you see guys it's very very simple this thing so yeah it, w w I'm pretty much done uh, what was that? What was? <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty much done. I'm going to finish off packing. It is 17.30. 17.30. So I'm going to finish off packing. And uh, that shouldn't take me long. I'm going to change into my dress. And then around 6. This is one of the things I love about summer. Like, it's still bright out. It's so, so nice. Uh, it stays bright out until like 
past seven which is really really nice especially when the weather is really really lovely uh yeah so it's one of the things i love about summer the most and today it's really breezy i'm actually looking out the window that's why i'm looking I'm looking over there uh, and today is quite breezy it's really lovely weather um, and I know I think my neighbors are brying as well it's really a beautiful afternoon so I'm gonna get ready might just do a last minute check-in show you what I'm wearing you know that dress there really isn't anything new to what I'm wearing I need to actually buy slippers for when I am chakile chakaring because normally i have to wear his slippers and they're huge it's not comfortable at all um anyway so i'll probably do that this weekend but i'm gonna go i'll do one last sweep in check in to say goodbye so that i can put my camera away and then make my way um and then the next time you'll probably see me is on sunday when i'm back here uh yeah in between maybe you might see clips of my weekend here and there i'll try i'll definitely i'll be here i'll try guys um yeah for the most part that's pretty much it gonna go finish off packing and then change and then make my way so here we are this is the dress that i'll be wearing along with some black pumps which i'm not wearing right now but uh yeah wanted to keep it simple wanted to keep it clean it's okay. It's looking pretty on rods, you know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about myself in this dress anymore. I used to love this dress so much, but I feel like since I gained three kilograms and everything, I just feel really plumpy in this dress. But it's fine. Whatever. Okay. It's fine. We're okay. Waist is still snatched. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it from me. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Okay, bye. My brain wants you. I've been thinking for myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love Hey, everybody, hey um, It's the beginning, no We're continuing with this vlog um, So it's a few days later The last footage that you saw is me yesterday Out with my sister having uh, lunch Which then became dinner really really weird but that's what we did okay that's what we did um we had a really really good time i've probably popped in that footage uh before this today is thursday my brows look a trash hands look great feet look a trash um but we, we're gonna go with it you know we're gonna go with it i am home i should be at work but i am home for the next two days because there is work being done at the house outside the house though so i need to be home to see all of that and make sure that these people are doing the right thing which i'm sure they will um but i have to be home i didn't necessarily have to be home i could have just opened my gate and had the guys come in and out that way and be at the office but i prefer to be home when there is work being done at the house um so that's happening there's going to be a lot of drilling knocking uh literally cutting sewing whatever so i'm pretty much probably not going to talk much in this portion of the vlog because yeah as we're not trying to hear the noise they're quiet now but they're going to start up again at some point um so they're here for the next two days which is fine um and then 
I'm going to go make myself a smoothie because my sister and I went a little bit ham yesterday. We went to Tasha's for lunch where we both had a smoked salmon salad, which you probably saw that already. And then uh, after that, we went to fire room where we had just nibbles. Um, I, I had, I think, like a, like, like a sushi something. My sister had halloumi, uh, grilled halloumi. But, you know, we dipped into each other's plates and we had tempura prawns, but it really wasn't that, you know. So we were out together from three till about nine-ish. So, yeah. But we had a good time. It was fun. We had a good time. I am going to prepare. I wanted to do some Instagram reels today. There they go. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm going... I wanted to do some Instagram reels today. Um, I might do that. If not, I'm just gonna make some food right now. I'm gonna have a smoothie first and then I might make something later for lunch. And then I think for supper, I think I wanna make some steak, uh, sirloin steak with maybe a mango, um, mango salsa salad. Who knows uh, something basic something simple but I do want to have a green smoothie because wow my eating habits yesterday my drinking habits wow so let's go let's do that <clears throat> there's a lot of work getting done here <laughs> it's a lot um, so I've been checking in on the guys that have been working I just gave them a snack now gave them some biscuits and some juice just pretty much to uh, get the energy up while they're working and they're working at very tall height um so it's it's really concerning plus the sun is out and all of that so i just also gave them some like ice water to drink while they work um so there's a lot going on i actually just wanted to show you uh as you can see outside there's just a whole lot going on plus at the same time my grass is getting cut today so the grass cutting people are here they come through every Thursday, so it's just it's a lot. There's a lot going on. There's panels and this and this and uh, fisher boards, barge boards that are going to be going up. So <sighs> it's a lot. So the guys who were working on the house have left. It is currently five o'clock. I try to eat anywhere between 6.37 or even 6.30, 7.30. Anywhere between that period, I try to eat. And all I'm going to be doing today is sirloin steak. I'm gonna literally just saute it. I'm gonna spice it up real good you know add some rosemary olive all that kind of stuff and literally just saute the steak so there really isn't anything interesting to see but i'm going to do it anyway so you can see and then i'm going to do a mango salsa now let me show you what i've got to pull out from my fridge for the mango. Yeah. definitely in brine Devein them. I typically devein them, but that takes so much time that I'm really not feeling it today. So it's going to be the first time that I'm trying these out while they're still veined up. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, we're fine. We're good.
right, so here we are. And then I'm going to add a little bit of these crimson leaves slash salad to this, which is going to make it look lovely, I suppose. <laughs> is that the whole idea? Yes. We don't have to add all of them. There is something that I want to do with these for breakfast tomorrow. So we just need teensy teensy smidgen. And we just... la di ya di ya La da 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 Dun dun It looks amazing. Of course, you season the chair very well. I like to season. I like a lot of pepper in there. Salt. I tend to not go too crazy on the salt. It's fine. It's up to you. You can add salt when you dish it out again. Really is up to you. Um, then final touch is a dash of olive oil. A dash, literally. Not too much. Dash, you know, dash. Oh, dash. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So, got our pan. Gonna put the heat on. Not too high. I like it on medium. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna wing this, okay? So, first put a bit of olive oil in there, okay? So that it can start sizzling up while we prepare our steak. One thing, get out the steak. Let's open this up real quick. Here's our sirloin, looks pretty good. Oops. There's a bit of fat on the sirloin, which I'm not really much of a fan of, so I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut this off as well. We just uh, rinse it, and then I'll show you what to do. I'm going to chop this off. We need all of that fat gone, sweetie. Okay. So here's our sirloin, proper, not too much fat, and I'm going to just rinse it under water. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing about the steak. Water, not good. So what you need to do is get a kitchen towel, <laughs> whatever it is, and dry the steak. Dry it as much as you can. Do not, we do not want water in this, okay? We do not. So this is what we're gonna do. In the meantime, whew, I'm gonna spread the kitchen towel there. Gonna start to the fire. So we're gonna just dry it up really really nicely mm, this tends to be a bit of a messy job but it's fine kitchen towel works best because none of the pieces of this stick onto the steak so dry it up proper the heat is going quite nicely now I don't have rosemary and thyme which would be really really good in this instance but I do have rosemary and thyme flavors or herbs that are in the in their containers so I'm going to do that. So here we are. Steak is nice and dry. Okay. Then what we're going to do is start seasoning. Try to make sure that you season it evenly right throughout all over the steak. No corners that you hear what I'm saying, right? And you follow with the salt, and then boom, 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 right? Another thing that we need is garlic and some spread. Butter would have worked better, but we've got margarine here, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work with what we've got, right? And then, then we're gonna add the steak to the pan now when you lay a steak down you always lay it away from you so i'm here right so you lay the steak away from you and that's what you want to hear sweetie okay there we go so there's not much splatter there we go okay to a good steak right if you like it rare if you like it rare it must feel somewhat like this here okay if you want it rare. If you want it medium, it must be something like this. And then if you want it well done, it must be further up. So I like it medium, I like it here. So <clears throat> it's gonna take a lot longer in the pan, but that's fine. We're okay. 
So I'm gonna get my tongs, get the tongs, and flip it over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, honey. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the point where I would add this. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Add a bit of the butter to the steak. There we go. Oh, we love that. We love that. Oh, yes. Every minute on the minute, you flip together. So, so there you go. Oh, yeah, that smells amazing. This is pretty much what's going to give the steak a really great flavor. The butter is going to give it a really, really great flavor. That's good. That's good. Woo. All right. As you can see, there's a little bit of oil, butter that collects at the bottom, which is fantastic. And what you want to do here is baste it. So you take a little bit of that and pour it all over the steak. Which is awesome flavor, sweetie. Awesome. Love it. Love it. It's about a minute later, so we flip again. Oh, love it. Love it. So it's been in there for about four minutes now. Five minutes. Which um, should be okay. If it's not listen if you try it the first time around and you don't like the fact that it's rare i can eat it rare as well i don't have a problem or medium rare i don't have a problem um if you prefer it a little bit more well done you can just put it in the oven have it cooked that way so i've just put it on here this is the point where you can cut it let it cool so i am going to cut one of them just to show you uh, how it looks on the inside cut right through it. I'll just cut, cut, cut a couple of pieces and then show you how it looks on the inside. My pan looks frightening, but it's fine. That's not the point. Um, it's a non-stick, so we're fine. So I'm going to cut this up, show you how it looks. So I'm going to cut this up and show you how it looks. Really lovely, lovely. Whoops, whoops. I'm cut your, there we go. Perfectly medium, which I'm so happy with. Perfectly medium. I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, that looks lovely. Can I switch the stove off? Because it's burning my hand, Shay. Yeah. Perfectly medium. There you go. Perfectly medium. There's still a little bit of red on the inside there. If I show you closer. Okay. It's going to fog up my lens. But... Basically, it's perfectly medium. It's not all the way well done, uh, which I'm happy with. This one, I'm going to put it into a scuff tin box thing. And then this is probably what I'm going to eat tonight. Uh, I'm just going to let it cool. So I've got the steak here behind me. I've got my drink here, which tastes absolutely amazing. Inverosh. Switch to Inverosh for a little bit because I couldn't find aviation at my bottle store. But I'm going to take one of the pieces that are slightly more well done. And give it a taste let's see if the herbs come through let's see if the basting the flavor from the uh butter and uh the garlic ah uh. uh. should i be working for a restaurant <laughs> because girl mm, mm, mm. so so good wow i'm gonna finish the whole thing chap so soft not hard to chew through so soft i love that to add some lettuce what you can do is this this is already pre-washed so we're okay 
butter lettuce is amazing because it looks well this one is a little bit ripped okay but it looks a little bit like romaine lettuce so what you can do is make a bit of a lettuce wrap and add your uh, ingredients onto the lettuce wrap like so wrap it up like so like so and chow down Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So you could literally have a couple of um, uh, butter lettuce pieces with the salad and eat it like this. Healthier way to eat it. No carbs. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. It is so, so good. Then we're going to dive into the steak. So I've got my pods in. I was on a call. I'm going to cut up the steak a little bit. So we've got the steak here and we've got a little bit of the salad. Mango salsa sala salita, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was watching Khomu this morning, catching up on Khomu. And let me tell you, the episodes where the brothers beat up um Kelly. <laughs> shame. Korea. I respected those gents in that episode, you know? Mm. Oh, wow. So good. So I'm going to go enjoy this while I have my drink. Get ready to edit this vlog because I need to drop it in the next two days or so. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you did, obviously, click subscribe, notification bell, share, retweet, repost, Instagram, Twitter, everything. I really do appreciate it. We are growing, honey. We're growing. Thank you so much for being on the channel. I really appreciate your presence and I feel all the love from all of you guys thank you so much i'm gonna go i'm gonna have my dinner and i'll talk to you in the next video okay okay bye